Hello everyone and welcome to a long overdue episode of Jurassic World Primal Ops. Actually, well, it isn't technically because I've already recorded one that's up the day I'm recording this. But anyway, maybe it's up Tuesday, I don't know. Uh, so basically, what's been happening with this game? Well, I have been playing it constantly every day. And uh, as you can see, I have 148,000 coin and 72,000 dinosaur XP. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called, really. Um, however, with me playing it, and I'll, I'll show you if we look at my chapters, I have done almost everything. Uh, in fact, I have completed everything, actually, because even if you look at chapter 8, I've done it all on easy. All the ones that, are, that show red, I've done easy and medium. Um, and I've just started doing uh, hard on chapter 1. Now... This game has a few problems, and I kind of want to talk about this more openly because I, it's kind of a let's play, but also it's, it's a bit of a review because damn, this game needs some fixes because <laughs> there's some things that really work. There's other things that don't really work, and we're going to talk about those. So basically, uh, as you can see, I, I mean, I've leveled up some of my, you know, my handlers, level 9 Mike, <gasps> level 9 Adriana. Hold on, I'm going to also change... The, um, the compressor amount on this. When it was like, uh, choices out of everybody, maybe Adriana's probably the best for DPS. As you can see, she's level nine and does 22 damage, which is actually quite a lot. But her health is 108. Whereas Brody's is 256. I mean, Mike is 180. So Mike's the best at health. Adriana's the best at uh, damage. And, and Brody's like a good balance. It doesn't shoot that fast, but then again, it, he can heal himself. He's the only dude who can actually heal himself by calling in companion dinosaurs. So we've also got, the, uh, we'll increase the health we can get to so 1.6%. I do think that the items that you upgrade should be better. Like, uh, point, uh, 0.6 each time doesn't seem that much. Um, and I, I think it's the same for all of them, like 0.25% adding to the chance of stun. Is it really that much? It's not really that much. Uh, but I mean, we are here after, after all, I suppose. Um, now, I've done all of easy Basically, mo I've done half of the missions on medium, and I'm starting them on hard. Now, from the last video, when we did this Spinosaur event, have I unlocked any dinosaurs? The answer to that... No, that's not the right one. Is it this one? Is no. I have not unlocked a single dinosaur, which is completely crazy to think about. If we go into dinosaurs, the last video I did, I maxed them all up to level 10, which in hindsight wasn't the best thing to do because you need, um, in order to get or like um, the daily quests to unlock homalocephaly, two of them are level up a dinosaur companion. Well, one of them is. So just by clicking it once, I could do that. But now I have to open up crates in order to unlock that because I'm not going to do daily missions because they're really not worth it. Uh, but when we click this, we should actually have our first ever new dinosaur that I haven't had in God knows how long. The Homalocephale. Look how cute you are. Yes. Although it's it's probably going to be the same size as like the Pachu or Stiggy or anything like that because it has to have an attack and it'll be the headbutt attack. So we actually have a new dinosaur. So upgrade handler equipment. Oh, well, there goes another Stego DNA. And now uh, when we go into dinosaurs, we have a second ever rare dinosaur with 100 250 power and we can level it up once boom which is allowing us to do our uh, you know our, our missions which i think is also going to help towards the quests so last time we did the spinosaur spinosaur has finished now if we go into events we now have a blue or try to win as many times as you can during the event to earn a chance of obtaining velociraptor family dna your progress is reset daily don't forget to check out the limited dna packs in the shop so in other words with the keys, you can unlock the crates. I don't know why it's called like a PAX. Maybe that was, you know, it's still not fully released. But they're crates. So when you do a mission, you get keys. As you can see in the bottom left, my possible rewards are 25 keys for this. But if we go into the flag, for doing it, I just get 30 instantly. Um, now, I was doing the Spinosaur. As you can see, Spinosaur's finished. Or Baryonyx, whatever you want to call it. It's two days left to claim my rewards. Unfortunately... If we go, I mean, if we look at the events, uh, we look at the, uh, no, not you. We look at the Bionix. I collected all of them, except for the last one, because I couldn't really be bothered, to be, if I'm going to be honest. Um, so let's claim our rewards, right? Let's go into shop. And, um, huh. 
Wait a minute. Where is the Spinosaurus crate? Now, this... I'm assuming this is a glitch. A couple of days ago, or maybe even four, four days ago now, um, these crates vanished. I have no idea where they went. And I was hoping when this new event clocked over that it would allow me to, you know, uh, the Spinosaurus crates would reappear again because this game updated about two days ago um, and still didn't address this problem. This happened before the update and they still haven't fixed it. And I saved up more than 200 keys worth of Spinosaur crates. So already that's like five. Well, you know, it's it's more than five. It's like six, almost seven crates, supply crates of opening DNA worth. And DNA is such a hard thing to come by. And this is another reason as to why I don't have things unlocked. Because in order to unlock something, you need 50. And when you do a single mission to, you know, let's say you go onto the map, you click on chapter two, you want to get that DNA, you've got a possible of four. You'll probably get one, two if you're lucky, three if you're super lucky, and zero, 30% of the time you'll get zero. You'll do the whole thing and get zero. Now you can only do this three times a day. Uh, now you do, you can do it in multiple difficulties, which is good. Now if I click on this one, the chance is five DNA. So the higher the, the difficulty, the more chance you've got of doing DNA. So you kind of just want to run through the whole game first. Um, but, Again, like I said, in order to unlock it, you need 50 of it. And then once you've unlocked the dinosaur, you can only get up to level 10, which will take you to around, I mean, as far as I've got with level 10 dinosaurs. Um, really, I need level 20 dinosaurs, but I need 70 next. And hold on, we're, we're getting a phone call. Ooh, two seconds. Winnie says, hello. So it really feels, I don't know. So sorry about that. I don't know where even I was, but basically be all and end all is this game's not balanced. I've completed all of easy, I'm halfway through medium, and I only have the dinosaurs basically that the game has given me to unlock. You know, like, I haven't earned anything in particular. Um, I've got what well, Toctopelta, which was one of the sanctuary levels. I have Omalocephale, which is the daily reward. And the only other dinosaur that I'm close to is Stegosaur, which I'm 15 DNA off. And the only way to do that is to level up dinosaurs or, you know, whatever. So, I mean, we can level up our homalocephale all the way up to level 10 um and you know get it to what 354 thing whatever and that maybe we'll be able to we're getting closer to an achievement now about leveling up our dinosaurs uh, increased sanctuary level um and this is really leveling up companion dinosaurs i am one level away from unlocking um, a stegosaur DNA, but again, it's, it's, it's incredibly tricky and unlocking DNA is incredibly hard. Right, so with that said, let's use our abilities of editing to open up an ad crate, which will give us terrible DNA. But anyway, ho ho ho, ho ho, right, let's see what we can get. Now, maybe I have been jipped out of, what, uh, six or seven of those other crates? Oh look, one DNA, one freaking DNA. And we're thinking about, you know, Maybe we've ranked this up to level two, so we need a hundred. One. One freaking DNA. Really doesn't seem worth it. Now, I, like I said, I might have been gypped out of eight or nine, whatever it was, Spinosaur crates, which would have been a lot of DNA. And the thing is, I did open some, and we opened as many as we could of the T-Rex event, and we didn't once get T-Rex DNA. And you need 50 of it. And let's be honest, we probably would have only got like one or two. Uh, so we have this one, which could give us eight. I mean, the majority of dinosaurs are there. Um, and also, apart from, what, nine dinosaurs that are on the map, sort of, there's no real way of unlocking um, the the other legendaries. All I can think of is at the moment that there are other events that are going to cycle through. And again, that's going to take so long. So not only I've been to that, there's DNA, there's crate, but we have eight of these to open, this being the first one of eight. So... This is good. This is what the Spinosaurus crates would have given me. You know, five epic DNA. So if I got another 10 of those, we could unlock Pachycephalosaurus. We got the Acro, which I don't use. The Syngopterus, which is all right. Again, don't use that. So we got another two of these to open. Um, and really, this game doesn't lend itself to uh, content because you want to space these out so you can do the missions. Uh, oh, all rares! Oh, yes! That's what you want. You want more of the same. Everything, if it's, if it's all the same, that's kind of what you want. And the final one for this, and then we're going to open five. We're going to spend a thousand amber 
All in. Legit in the game. No buying or anything, because of course I can't. It's a different region. Oh, we got legendary! <gasps> we got eight to run it on? Just after I said, oh yeah, I will not get it, I will not get it. But that's the first time ever, and I've been playing this for what, like a, a week, two weeks now, that I've got legendary dinner. But we got a freaking Pteranodon. Oh, and it's eight, the highest. Damn. And we could buy, now this is the thing, right? Now we could buy, you know, five of the regular Jurassic crates. But if we do the five times, we're guaranteed epic dinosaur dinner. So we may as well. So crate one odds. Uh, so the, and create two odds. Now I really don't understand this. You can also randomize it, or at least it tells you the chances. So the chances in drop. So drop one will give us, you know, common and rare. Drop two gives us a 1.7 chance of getting legendary, and then a 1.9, and then so forth, so on and so forth. Drop three, again, that, uh, and create two. Drop one. Drop two. Drop three. But apparently we're guaranteed, so we've got like, oh right, the drop two will give us, um, and now this is what I don't understand. So it's saying you drop one, two, and three, and then, I'm guessing this is four, five, six? I, I don't understand this crate two odds, crate one odds, like, do I have to pick? Uh, really not exactly sure what's going on here. Uh, and like, create, the, the, just basically, I'm assuming it says Jurassic Park, or Jurassic Crate 5, times 5. So let's do it. Thousand DNA. Now, do we open them one by one? Or is it... Okay, we can open them one by one. Let's open... If we open all, I'm assuming that it's just gonna like, just say, this is what you want. So here we go. Let's see what else we got. Carnotaurus is probably... I'm really close to getting Carnotaurus. So maybe that has pushed me over. I'm hoping that we can get more Carnotaurus? Because that's, that's the next thing. Apart from Stego, that's the next thing I'm closest to. So more rare. There's some sign Is it Bachyrinosaurus? Uh, some Critonosaurus? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, I am working towards that because, again, that's one you could do on the map. I kind of want Carnotaurus. So, so far, no guaranteed epic at the moment. Uh, six Antarctic Pelt. You know what? I use it. I'll take that. Again, we need 70. So, six. That... 10 more times, please. So here we go. Uh, crate number three or four? I think this is four. So we got one more after this. Uh, and here it is. There's the guaranteed epic. So I have no idea what the hell that is. What is it? Is it a Critonosaurus? A Eupocephalus. Okay. And the final one. Are we going to get any legendary? We got one guaranteed epic. Do we get another epic? Oh, we do. We got another epic. And it is a Baryonyx. And Irritator, and uh, I don't know what that Stegosaur is. Is it Chunking? No, it's Kendrasaur. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, it's saying to me, I've... Oh, wow. I could I could purchase that. Brilliant. I uh, don't really want to. And our event crates still haven't appeared. But what I'm going to do is we're going to do a blue event. We're going to unlock like 30, you know, odd keys. And let's see if that refreshes it, because that could fix the issue. So if we have a look at the dinosaurs now... Um, there's, they're all level 10, right? There's not a level 9. Okay, so we are 15 off the Stegosaurus. Now, the Stegosaurus, um, I know someone who's unlocked the Stegosaur, um, and apparently it's 7 energy to use. It's very slow and doesn't seem worth it. So I'm a bit disappointed in that, but, you know, we'll, we'll still work towards it, and we, well, that's what we're going to do. We have 41 Carnotaurus, so that's really close. We could unlock this guy pretty soon. Same with Pachyrhinosaurus, another one that we could unlock pretty soon as well. Um, Cynosaurus as well being another one. Uh, Proceratosaurus, again, these are dinosaurs that are on the map. Most of the legendaries, or whatever they're called, le yeah, they are legendaries, will probably be events, I'm assuming. So... Uh, we have this one to go ahead and do. Yes, you keep on telling me. Uh, so I'm kind of tempted to switch out Dracovenator for Homalocephaly because, I mean, it gives me a better squad power and uh, let's just go do it. Our intel suggests that smugglers have captured wild raptors. We must protect. Okie dokie. So, ooh, it's four actually. Wow, it's so tiny in its little circle. Bless it. Right. Let's see how good it is. I'm assuming it's just going to be a run headbutter. It, it seemed like it was, so... Go on, Homalocephaly! Whoa! Bam! Oh, I killed him in one hit! Oh, I killed the other one as well! Oh, what a ram! Oh my god, that's actually pretty decent, and it lasts for a while as well. Ooh, I like it! 
Right, homalocephaly. Up, up, off they go. And, uh, oh, they're blowing it up. Are they going to blow each other up? No, they're not. Okay, fair enough. I'll shoot you then. Homalocephaly, go kill that dude. Oh, almost. Very close. Yes, look how long it lasts for. Like, in Princess, look at Sukumimus' health. Look at that. It's almost going to run out at exactly the same time homalocephaly does. Yeah, and it's gone. Didn't even do anything, and that was four. So, my tactic is... Oh, God, does it, it doesn't even matter. These guys are pitiful. Um, my tactic is that if I use the acro, that they all get scared. Which is obviously terrible, because I want to lure them into hitting the uh, Antarctic Belter. And Antarctic Belter um, sort of stays with you like a like a bodyguard, if, if you were. Yes, look, wah! Nope, never mind. Well, this is super easy, so don't mind this. So hopefully, fingers freaking crossed, that once we complete this mission, we're able to, uh, ooh, there it is. Ooh, that's a different kind of crate. Yes, that's the one that the Drodon was in, actually. The very first mission. Uh, yeah, so hopefully once we complete this mission, collect the keys, uh, we'll see the Spinosaur crate, and we'll also see the other crate. So is it just a regular raptor? <gasps> ooh, it is! Oh, that looks so cool! Again, raptor, like, we can't... Okay, knock me, why don't you? Raptor's another dinosaur... Am I not allowed to... Okay, there we go. Yeah, we freed it! Woohoo! Glad, great job done. Ah, on to the sanctuary. It ran away. We didn't pick it up. We can't take it to the sanctuary. Yeah, Raptor, we can't actually unlock in the game. Uh, so... So 25, which was what we were estimated to get, or it was like possible rewards. So we did a Lost Up Family Event Part 1 fully complete Mission 1. So here we go. We'll go into here. So we have 55 now. 55 Raptor keys. So how do we open them? Is the question. Uh, we go to shop. Is it there? Uh, no. No, it's not in shop. Brilliant. Um, so we're collecting all these keys. And we can't even use it. Oh, that, that is just fantastic, dear. Yes, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So if we go on to chapter 5. Uh, oh, they're still not ready. So yeah, I mean, just, you know, if there's rares, I'm, I'm just going to do them. Um, and I'm assuming at the very end we'll... E uh, rescue blue or something? Subdue and extract the dinosaur. Oh, okay, so this is the first time that we're seeing... We know we'll do this one because it's the first time we're seeing a raptor in-game that we can actually subdue and extract. I'm assuming it's a raptor anyway. Possibly even blue. With the other Spinosaur event, not that I completed it, but you think you released a... Or you saved a... Ichthovenator, then a Baryonyx, and then you saved a Spinosaur. So, unfortunately... It seems like certain dinosaurs of, of a family or whatever. Oh, it's a Trodon. Ah, okay, brilliant. So maybe... Yes. Okay, I, I see how this game's gonna go. So basically... Uh, oh, look at this. They're absolutely being decimated. The only one I can't really kill is the shield dude without, like, you know, taking him into fire or burning him, for instance. Which he's... Uh, he actually died there, so that's... Uh, no, I can kill him. It just takes a little bit of a while. Uh, so raptors... Now, we've seen a raptor. We rescued the raptor, we're probably not going to be able to fight a raptor. I think every time a raptor's in the game, we have to, um, you know, rescue it, if you were. Uh, we can't actually take it on. Which is, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, you know, I might as well. Look, this is what Sukumimus is. So a couple of bites. There you go. Not bad. Uh, and we'll run through the fire. 13 damages. Oh my god. Homonocephaly, go. And he missed it. Because I killed him. Wow! I'm sorry, Nick, you kill. Tell me, baby. Let's go. Oh yes, I'm just so powerful. And the thing is, this game rewards you for just leveling up one handler. And really, you don't want to do that. You don't just level up one handler. You want to level up all of them, or you know, have a mix. But the thing is, the way this game is, you kind of just oh the hit. Yes. And it's already subdued. And we're going to rescue it before the other ones even come in. So that's really good. Yay! Normally, like when it hits halfway health, it does its call, which it was doing there. And then the other ones come in. But if there's no enemies on screen, you can complete the mission. So we completed it just before everything else jumped in. So that's really good. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So yeah, Trodon will always be, you have to subdue it, extract it. And Velociraptor will always be rescued. We may as well just continue and uh, give this a shot. See what the next one is. If it is a Trodon or if it's a Raptor. I get the feeling that 
it's probably if it is a raptor it's just going to be like rescue but i want to like fight a raptor at least or at least see blue maybe it's blue i don't know we'll see eggs again always with the eggs yeah <laughs> do, 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 do. i mean yep yep i'm just so op just one shot no you don't need to just follow me home allo yes again still no sign of any sort of um, you know, uh, credit to Frontier, because the the models, the skins, maybe they've been redone, sort of. But at the same time, I know that Frontier have had to greenlight, you know, or they've had to go through uh, Universal when it's come to dinosaur designs. And I'm assuming, and they have a long list, a bit like InGen's capture list of dinosaurs that they can use in this game. Um, and I'm assuming it's for this reason, so that you know, other games um, can use them as well. Uh, it just seems a bit odd that when it's so blatantly Frontiers, you know, models and or skins and designs, that there's no credit to Frontier. Or, you know, in partnership, it's just, you know, it's it's just a behave or whatever it's called. Behave, yes. Hey, look, there's the eggs. Sweet. From Allocephaly. And Sukavimus, off you go. Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna shoot and kill everything anyway. Oh, a little bit of coin. Beautiful. So, this is pretty much me. It's it's enjoying. I mean, I enjoy it. I, it's enjoying. I, I enjoy it. Yes. Uh, it's enjoyable because the, the grind in, in, in any kind of game is fun. So, there's another 15 Raptor Claws, which we probably won't be able to use. Um, if it does come back, we'll definitely make a video and just opening up so many crates. We'll probably unlock so many dinosaurs as well. So that was 15 we got for that, but then I think it'll also be 25, yes. So we now have, well, that was 55 before, 60, uh, 70, 80, 90, 95. So we have three crates worth right now to open. However, like, I just wish there was a way to, to is, is, is it on the map? Am I missing it? Is, is there somewhere on the map that it shows, oh, here, open the crate? But there, I, there isn't. Th there's nothing. I just feel like maybe it's like, you know, they've switched where the crates are, so you have to open them up in a, in a different area. Um, and of course, you know, if in 24 days, or was it one, two, three, four, yeah. So 24 days, we'll unlock Deinonychus as well as, and again, that Deinonychus, is the iconic frontier one with the fish head like the the fin on its head yet still nothing about frontier helping right so another subdue let's have a look at this one let's have a look also um i didn't realize this until like a couple of days ago but if you really want to run through this game you can buy speed ups for your energy a bit like you know just world alive when the batteries when you could buy batteries or you can buy darts for instance with in-game currency the amber and thing is the amber, I think it costs five amber to get 40 energy, which is, you know, four plays worth. Um, and within those four plays worth, you'll probably get like two or three bits of amber anyway. And then the whole time you're just getting experience, you're getting coins. Um, so every day you have, you know, let's say you played it once a day. You could just buy five sets of amber and that's 200 energy plus the 30 energy you already have. So it's 23, you know, levels to play. And that's if you only, you know, play once. If you wait, you could probably get, you know, three, 30, 30 levels in. Um, and that's only the main story. That's not even thinking about, you know, this, the special events that they have going on as well. And like I said, that's what works about this game is, um, you know, the, the dinosaurs leveling them up. It's, it's the grind. The grind works for this game. And the mindlessness of these battles work. And again, it's another Trodon. Oh, okay. Thank you, game. Yay! I would have always been Trodon. It'll be fine. It'll be blue and it'll be rescue blue one. Or it'll be rescue another Trodon. Oh dear. Well, anyway, Trodon's not even a real dinosaur, damn it. God! Um, but what doesn't, what hinders this game? And I, I know I haven't really spoke about the cons apart from that glitch where I can't get any crates. Uh, what hinders this game is the re repetitiveness. Now, I have came across... A, a few different enemy types. You know, you've, you've got the clubbers, you know, the people with the nightsticks that run at you and hit you. You've got the shield dudes. You've got the explosive, like, shooters. Sometimes they stun you. Um, you've also got the... Fl oh, where am I going? Oh, I have no idea. You've got the flamers or the... Oh, not the flamers. You've got the poisoners. Uh, you've got the snipers. You've got the assault riflers. You've got drones. 
but once you've seen those three types of uh, of enemies, um, that that's pretty much it. Uh, go on, hit it, and then yeah, it didn't even get a call in his friends. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, once you've seen all those enemy types, you're probably within chapter four of the campaign, about halfway through, and then after that, it's all the same. It's all the same. That there's no like vehicles that come to attack you. Oh, one. Oh, brilliant. Yay, one. I guess that was for rescuing those, so we weren't going to get much anyway. But really, this, this is nothing that needs more, you know, enemy types. Maybe we come across uh, opponent dinosaurs to take down, you know, another clan or, or something like that. Um, yeah, you can do this for 20, but honestly, there's no point, especially now when we can't even open the bleeding crates. But yeah, yeah, guys, we, as you can see, our next sanctuary level gives us more freaking of those, which is awful. Um, so it seems like level two was the best one. It gave you Antarctic Pelter. And then three, four, five, six have just been either a, a couple of keys or just stuff to upgrade your handlers with. And it, it really doesn't seem worth it. Um, and as you can see here, Sticky Moloch family is, is close. Family damage would be... Is, is it 10% now? Or do I need... Well, I think I need to unlock them all, actually, in order to do that. And then maybe I can level them up there, but... Lord knows. Anyway, guys, if the glitch fixes will come through, we'll open up a whole bunch of crates. We're going to have so many and, you know, see all the new dinosaurs that come out of it. But until then, this will be a pause on the series um, until maybe it fully releases and something else. Because at the moment, it is just the same thing over and over again. And there's no new enemy types. The story didn't go anywhere, really. Um, I mean, it was just it was just fluff filler. Um, but as far as, you know, a game that's collectible, grindy, you know, you level up sort of thing, you see dinosaurs, it's good to just turn your brain off. It's not the next, next gen game, the Jurassic, you know, J-Park or Evolution or anything like that. It, it's, an, it's a mobile game that's there just to fill in your time. And it, for what it does, it does a good job. However, because it isn't finished at the moment, it's still in soft launch in certain stores, it needs a lot of work. It really does, to, to get your attention and... I mean, you could see it in the series, you know, when we played Jurassic World, the game, when that first came out, there was so many, like, it was so popular. There were so many views on that series on my channel. And it really helped, you know, skyrocket my channel into where it is today. But when this game came out, the first episode got loads of views and then quickly people lost interest because it is the same thing over and over again. It's a bit like um, if I was to do a Let's Play series on Candy Crush. You know, that, you know, back in the days, it's the same thing over and over again. And that's what this is. The good thing it has going for it is the different dinosaurs unlocking that. But even then, it's just, it takes too long. I can basically complete the entire campaign and only have, what, 11 dinosaurs unlocked. And not even then. I, I, Homalocephale was a daily thing. And talk to Pelter was, you know, I'd probably get that. So really, I can complete the entire campaign and only have 10 dinosaurs and then have all of this still to unlock with seemingly no way to really unlock it. Uh, but anyway, guys, it's kind of a review. I want to do a Let's Play, but also update you on what this game is doing because it's, uh, it's not looking too good so far. And I've spent hours, hours and hours and hours on this game. So I'm not just taking it over to face value. I, you know, I've spent a long time in the game checking out, you know, the play styles and trying different dinosaurs and, you know, doing all that. And I, I've I played mobile games for a long time, so I know when something's working, when something isn't working. Um, I mean, look at more on episode 400 and odd, if not even more, of, uh, of 500. I, God knows. Yeah, I think it was 500. 500 and odd, I've lost count of Jurassic World, the game. Uh, so anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, Leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>